This is an introduction of limits. Imagine you're given a function f of x equals x minus 2 over x minus 2. Now immediately it should strike you that if x equals 2 the value would be 0 over 0. So x cannot equal 2 or in the case of f of 2 the value would be 0 over 0 or undefined. Now let's analyze this a little more deeply and we're going to we're going to draw a simple graph to do that. One, two, one, two. Okay. When we have a rational number that has the same numerator and denominator, we assume its value is one, but that's not always true. And <clears throat> as we said originally, x cannot equal 2 or else um, we'll, have, we'll have a number of 0 over 0. So I made a little space at the 2 because that is not, uh, that cannot be the x value. But what we can do is we can look at this and say it is f of x is 1 in almost every case except when x equals 2. So as we move coming from lower and we move along x moving towards 2 and then coming up above moving down x towards 2. In both cases in this example f of x is going to equal 1 for all of those values. So we actually have a way to, to, to talk about this and we call this the limit. So what we say is the limit or LIM of f of x as x so x is moving towards what value? It's moving towards 2. So the limit of f of x as x moves towards 2, and in this case, f of x equals x minus 2 over x minus 2. Now this limit equals what value? The limit of f of x over x as x moves towards 2 is 1. Because in every case except exactly at the value of 2, um, we notice that f of x equals 1. So this is how we write that. Let's try another example. Let's work another example. So in this case, we're given a function f of x equals x squared. And we're told that x cannot equal 2. So x does not equal 2. So to understand the function, we're going to graph it. So we'll draw a simple graph. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, five, six.
and we will number the graph So, um, as I said, we've been told that x cannot equal 2. So, we are going to make a circle at that point, showing that that point does not exist on our graph. And then we will draw the the graph of a of x squared which is a parabola okay um so this shape is a parabola. So something to help you um, understand what's happening with the values of a function is to make a chart or make a table of the values and we're going to do that. Um, so table of values is very 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 helpful. So on your calculator, um, if you can follow along, if you're able to. So we're going to find f of 1.9, and f of 1.9 is 3.61. So what we're doing is we're going from the lower values and moving up. So we're going in this direction. Um, now we want to get even closer to x equals 2. So we're going to try 1.99. And when we square 1.99 in our calculator, it's the f of x is 3.961. So we're getting closer and closer to the value of 4. In fact, um, I want to make sure um, that we're aware that our vertical axis is y equals f of x and our horizontal axis is x. So we're going to come from the other direction and examine those values. So 2.1 squared is 4.41 and then to get even closer to 2 2.01 and we square that is 4.0401. So what we have is we have uh, we notice that <clears throat> we do not have an f of x at x equals 2 but we're we have a very good idea about how f of x is behaving. So we have what we call a limit because we're able to approach the x value from the left. We're able to approach the x value from the right. And therefore, we have a valid limit. So what we'll write is we will write the limit of f of x in this case f of x equals x squared as x approaches 2 the limit is 4 
Let's work another problem. f of x equals x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. And we recognize that this is a discontinuous function, so x does not equal 3. <clears throat> Because f of 3 is undefined. OK, um, let's create a table to understand what's happening with this function. That would be the easiest. So we are going to make a table of x values and f of x. So we are going to move towards the value of x equals 3 and we are going to see how um, how f of x behaves. So we'll start with 2.9. So if x is 2.9, f of x is 5.9. If x is 2.99, f of x is 5.99. If and now we're we're going to uh, travel in the opposite direction, moving uh, down the values. So if x is three point one, f of x is six point one, and if x is three point zero one, then f of x is six point zero one. So we notice that um, as we move closer to x equals 3, we, the f of x is closer and closer to the value of 6. So what we will write is we will write the limit of f of x. And here we'll write uh, what is f of f, f of x equals x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. The limit of f of x as x approaches 3 equals, notice in all of these cases, we're moving towards 6. So it equals 6. So very good. That is the introduction to limits.